So now all the servers that are part of the SharePoint farm are added to the farm. And our next step really is to create services and websites and so on. But the, what I'm going to do first is, is actually go to Central Admin and add in the service accounts that I will eventually be using within this, uh, within this site. So these are the service accounts that we'll use within the farm. The database service account on the bottom actually is already uh, completely set up the way it needs to be because it's running the backend database services that host SharePoint content and, and other things like analysis services on the DB1 server. The farm account is already created and it's configured because we gave it permissions on the servers it needed and used it to create the farm in the first place. So the remaining accounts here, the web account, search, BI, unattended, and claims to Windows that are not yet defined within the SharePoint environment. What I'm going to do is just kind of preload these into the environment so that as I'm creating services, I can just select them and I don't have to worry about uh, when do I need to add these to the farm and so on. I'm just going to do this in advance. I find this a little bit easier than adding them ad hoc as I go. So to add these accounts, let's just click into the security section of Central Admin. And the first option here is configure managed accounts. So click on that. And notice that there's one managed account that's known. And I'm just going to go through here and add the rest. So this is a very simple process. It's just one after another, add the accounts in. You can enable automatic password change. I'm not going to bother to do that in this environment. But if you would like to have your accounts change their passwords periodically and have SharePoint manage that for you, you can use these options. So now I have all of my SharePoint service accounts are, are known to SharePoint. The passwords are loaded in and remembered within the environment. So as I go through and create websites and create service applications, I can just select which account I want to use for which purpose. And I don't have to worry about typing in the passwords anymore from this point. So the next step will actually start to create the site collections and after that, create service accounts within the environment.